Manchito by Ernesto Cordero. All right. Yeah, let's let's hear it. Yeah, I don't think I've heard that. It's like a really famous Puerto Rican song. Uh, Ernesto is like the. Yeah, it's been, but his point is it's cumbanchero, but it's a little one, so it's a cumbancherito. It's a little one. And Ernesto is he's a great guy. He's um, like the Puerto Rican composer, you know, serious composer, but then he loves like traditional music too. And you know, he once wrote a, a concerto for, he's written for like traditional instruments in Puerto Rico, like the, uh, the tres, which is a sort of steel string, uh, a guitar kind of thing, like double string kind of thing. And he once wrote a concerto for bongos and, and orchestra. <laughs> and so this piece really, he t the beginning of it, the guitar is like a bongo drum, and he's trying to imitate the bongo drum, you know. And so you did a great job with that. That's that's tricky to do. Um, you know, we can talk just for a minute about you know, like getting all of these different. You know, he has like high and low, and, and he tells you where to hit. And like on, on everybody's guitar, it's almost a little different. And you have it you have it worked out. You know, like I I always say when whenever there's a, a, a composer that says, well, hit the guitar right here. 
that you always take that with a grain of salt because on his guitar, like this might be the best sound, but on yours it might be here or here. You know, what you're going for is just the bongo sounds, you know, like the, the low and the high. I can't remember. On mine I ended up yeah. I ended up hitting on the back instead of because it was actually a little easier to go. And I, I thought, always thought that you went up here. Because I heard that, um... so I'm trying to get a little more obvious difference between high and low. There's that when we did. Did you see our concert the other yes, night? Sir. You know, so when we did that that Cuban piece, and we're like. Trying to get all kinds of different sounds, and you know, are there any guitar builders in the audience? Yeah. <laughs> Work your eyes, banging on the thing, you know. But you might you might consider this, you know, and I, I mean, not that we, we need to discuss, you know, bongo technique, you know, but but I actually I try to hit with with the, the like bony knuckle. Well, yeah, yeah, great. I, I don't know. Do it, however, the way you're doing it's fine. No, no, don't worry about it. Very good. <laughs> don't do it. Okay, okay. No, but you're doing you're doing a great job. But but what about the pizzicato? Ooh, that sounds great. Oh yeah. Oh. You know what Ernesto would say? I think that sounds fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sounds perfect. Very good. Very good. Wow. Excellent. And then this is this is working out great with the with the harmonics. Doing a great job with that. In a way, this piece is like this little grab bag of of you know strumming, pizzicato, harmonics, you know, dark sounds, bright sounds, you know, percussion. It's like really color colorful. You know, and you're doing a great job with it. But let, let's talk about now where where the melody comes in. You know this this little thing. Mm -hmm. So when you do the strum, you know you you got to get through like a lot of strings, right? Mm -hmm. And so you're 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 doing it with your index, right? And I th I think you're you're sort of taking a little too long to get to the top string. Like you're, it's sort of sounding like like this. Well, what I want you to always think of is is you try to aim for the top string. It's almost like you're doing this. Try playing it. It's pretty good. And it takes a little while to develop like the, you know, the, yeah, the, the, it's, it's better, right? Yeah. So what you want to do is, you know, sometimes if, if you, if you, like, kind of catch your, your, the nail, away from the guitar, actually, do, do this. And you want to feel like, Let's say you had a bug on your knee and you wanted to right. Well, ow, no. And you want and you want to like flick it off with your finger. Bop. Right. I think I just slap it. Practice, practice with your finger. Bop. 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 And then bring it in. Bop. Bop. And then. And so you imagine there, there's a there's a little bug sitting on your first string and you want to slap him off the string. Try it. Don't don't hit your guitar. Though. <laughs> uh huh. Exactly. Right. So the, the trick to it is it's it's not how hard you push, it's how fast your finger's going. So you you want to try to get your finger moving quickly through the string, not not slowly. Already better. Already better, yeah. And and you know, you can do it slow to practice it and then bring it up to tempo. Try it a little slower. Pretty good. Aim for the top string more. You're sort of getting I'm pushing into you're pushing pushing into surface. Yeah, you're getting stuck in between the second and third string. Just go across. Great, great. Okay, and then after all that strumming, then you have to go pluck, pluck, okay? And what I want you to do is, what is that chord? I haven't played this piece in a long time. Right. Yeah. So when, when you get ready to hit that chord, 
Okay? Like, watch me, watch how I would practice this. So I do strum, 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 stop, and I grab it. And you see how I'm grabbing the chord with my right hand? And so my, and especially, what finger is going to play the melody note of that chord? Which finger? The A finger, right. And so when I stop, it's like I feel my A finger is going like, feel that? It's like pushing in a little bit. And I feel it. And then just let it go. Great. And so it would open if I turn it out a bit because it's, it's more kind of straight. If you need to do that. It's more, it's more about making sure that your A finger really has a moment to grab the string. It feels like, okay, I'm, I'm down. So now do slowly. Grab. Great, great. And you know, if you don't have to then pull out so hard, because if you pull up, we get a little bit of slap, but just very good. Let's continue. And then then when you have these, watch. However it works. Okay, okay but here's the thing. I, the way you felt on this, the great way you felt on that, I need you to feel like on that. So watch. Yeah, and here's the thing. If, if, you, if you feel it first, then you don't have to go... <clears throat> Actually, let me, I, there's one... Maybe you'll remember this. Okay. There's two kinds of players. Okay. Some players do this. And other players do this. Okay. Which one do you think you should be? The second. The second one. The ah, not the uh one. Exactly. And so if you do this, <coughs> that's uh, but I need uh, uh. Okay, so you know it means you touch it, you squeeze it, and then you relax when you let it go. So go do this. <coughs> do it again. Better. So every one of these. Watch me do it once, okay? Watch me do it. Watch my watch my ring finger of my right hand, okay? See, I'm just stopping and grabbing and then letting go. And this is maybe not not as good. Watch this. See, there I kind of went and tried to grab it, but I want you to touch it and let it. Try it. Nice and slow. Good. The last one could have been a little bit better prepared. Uh, go watch. Bum. Uh, and when you touch, grip. Move the strings. Move. That's it. That's it. So it's sort of this feeling of you know, when you're about to hit a big chord, you go, can you see the strings already moved? You know, that, that's going to be a loud chord, but it, they're, they're already moved. They're already, I'm ready to go. And now all I have to do is go, ah. okay? But if, if they're not moved and you try to grab them, you know, you might miss, you might not hit it the right way. But get, be comfortable with spending time on the string, holding them just like that. Okay, it's ready to go. And then when I want to hear it, just let it relax. Do, do it one more time. And take as much time as you want before you hit the chord. That's it. You feel the difference? That's Keep going.
Very good. Okay, let's talk about that little lick. That. So it's kind of a tricky little left hand <laughs> thing, and it's a, the classic, like, Caribbean blues lick. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but without the the bending. So, but it's a kind of a tricky little thing to do in the in the left hand, right? It's it's hard, and you know, and your your fingers as you get older, your fingers are going to grow, your hands going to get bigger, and the stretch is going to get easier for you. So, but right now, what I want you to try to think of is, if if you turn your hand kind of away, like that way, it it, it pulls your your pinky kind of away from the guitar a little bit. So then your your pinky has to kind of go to reach the string, and what I try to do is. Like, let me, get ready to play it. Let, let me see. Yeah, so, so... I can't seem to get enough power with that. Right, well, here's the, here's the reason. Okay, so look at, okay, the line of your knuckles, like I'm lining this pencil up with the knuckles, and here's the line that your knuckles are forming. See the direction it's going? Mm -hmm. And I want it to be like, like that. Okay? And, and what, what you do is then, here, let me, let me show you when I, when I do it. Like, if I... If I, if you let your your index finger kind of go nerk, like this, and then it turns your hand out like that. And now my fourth finger has to do this, and it loses power. Now watch. What I want to do is open up this part, and I. Okay. So that position's much better. Good. And then what I want you to feel is your fourth finger. You really want to throw it. slow right now. Just do... Already better. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. So, you know, practice it slow like that, but it's, it's a, if you start with your hand turned like this, it's going to feel harder. Okay, so this middle section, it's... Do you have any idea, like, what he was trying to talk about with this piece? Uh... I mean, I know what this section is supposed to be like, but I'm not sure what it is. Well, he told me a little story about it, you know, because it says lento religioso. And, and his idea was... It's just free, right? Well, it, well it's based on the rhythm, but mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't have a strict rhythm. Right, right. It's, it's, and I mean, it has a tune. It has a tune that it goes by, but it's not a strict Right, it's like it's like someone singing without any. It's there's no there's no percussion. There's no dancing. It's just just a simple melody, right? But his idea was, you know, the the first Western music that came to the islands in, in the Caribbean was religious music. It was like the priests came, and they they were singing, you know, Gregorian chant. You know, guys in hoods. You know, kind of thing. Monty Python. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, anyway, and, and so his idea with this piece would, was to sort of say that, like this, you know, all this. That's kind of like the indigenous rhythm of, you know, the Afro-Cuban rhythm of, like, the people. And then this is like the the church music that they heard. And, but that, even though it's, it's very religious, it gets sort of affected by the bluesy, you know, feeling of the, of the native music. And so, this is church music. It's like, the, you know, the Padre, you know, he's lighting his candle and, you know, takes a little sip of wine. You know, you know, and so, and then the harmonic one, oh boy, I haven't played this in a long time. I think it's up here. Right? Well, I do it here. <laughs> I, I, actually, I actually decided to refinger it. I mean, I refingered it, and you don't have to worry about it, but I wanted to, because my idea was these, they were like church bells that are ringing. And so, you know, and so I went out of my way. to have everything ringing. And then that one. 
so that, that's the idea. And, and the thing is, it's, you can take lots of time, you know, like he has those breath marks, you know? You know and um, so th that's the idea, though. It's, it's like this church thing, and then uh, th this thing starts. You know, he's, he's sort of pulling together the that lick and the church song, you know, and it, it kind of, and it sort of leads back to the, the native song. You know? So, so try, try, thinking about that, try, try it from here. Yeah. <laughs>